Hey there. If you've been following my other videos, you know that this video will continue with the bus trend. And next on the bus tour is the NBA and their pick of players that never lived up to expectation due to lack of talent or injuries. Now, I will start this list with an easy one with Greg Oden. Greg Oden is the clear and present bust in the NBA from being drafted number one overall back in 2007 by the Portland Trailblazers. What doesn't help is that the person drafted just after him in 2007 was Kevin Durant. Owen's basketball career wasn't always doom and gloom, though. He was drafted number one for a reason. In college, he helped his Ohio State team to the NCAA championship game against the Florida Gators, only to see them lose that contest. He was named to the All-American team that year, along with fellow freshman Kevin Durant, the first two freshmen to be voted to the All-American team since 1990, and two of the four total freshmen that had been voted in total. It is unfortunate that Owen was never able to stay on the court and develop as an NBA player. But with the laundry list of injuries he dealt with, there was no surprise as to why he didn't make it. He had a microfracture surgery on his right knee before the start of his first season, causing him to miss that entire season. He suffered a foot injury during his debut game the following year, which caused him to miss two weeks. Later on, that same year, he injured his left knee during a collision with another player, which caused him to miss three more weeks due to a chipped kneecap. The following year, he suffered a fractured left patella, which required surgery, and he missed the remainder of that season. The year after that, he had to have microscopic knee surgery on his left knee, which it made him miss all of that season as well. The year following his most recent surgery, he suffered a setback, which translated into another arthroscopic surgery on his right knee. Then just 17 days after that, he was scheduled for a similar surgery to his left knee, where in that surgery, they discovered further cartilage damage in his knee, which required another microfracture surgery. Did you follow all that? Yeah. He will forever be known as a bust, but having so many different leg injuries, he never really had an opportunity to get his career going. Another top bust candidate is Darko Milicic. Drafted in a 2003 draft by the Detroit Pistons, he was supposed to come in and help an already talented team in the Eastern Conference. Unfortunately for him, he never saw an abundance of playing time while with the Pistons. He did see a substantial minutes increase during his time in the league after being traded from Detroit, but that didn't translate into better play. At his best, he averaged less than 9 points per game, just over 5 rebounds, and an assist and a half. Numbers that are fine for a big man coming off the bench, but not one that was drafted with the second overall pick. Also unfortunate for him is that he doesn't have an excuse like Greg Oden does to be a bust. He just never performed well. What makes it even worse is that the following three selections after him were Carmelo Anthony, Chris Bosh, and Dwayne Wade, respectively. Imagine Detroit's starting lineup of Chauncey Billups, Dwayne Wade, Richard Rip Hamilton, Tayshaun Prince, and Ben Wallace. They would have been pretty stout indeed. The last addition to this list isn't so much a traditional draft bust, but more of a trade draft bust, if you catch my drift. I am referring to Kobe Bryant being drafted in 1996 by the Charlotte Hornets, then being traded to the Lakers for Vlade Divac. From the Hornets' standpoint, I guess they wanted a veteran for their team instead of a rookie who was coming into the league straight out of high school. Someone coming out of high school does come with some uncertainty as to whether they will perform well enough in the league and how they made to continue to develop physically. The Hornets believed that it was worth flipping an uncertain high school kid for an established starting center in this league. What was unfortunate for them was that Vlade only lasted two years with the Hornets, and they weren't fantastic at that. Even more unfortunate was that Kobe Bryant went on to play 20 masterful years and helped them win five championships. Hey, hindsight's always 20-20, right? Well, there you have it. Those are my draft busts for the NBA. If you feel there are a few more names that can be added to this list, feel free to drop their names in the comment section. On a happier note, baseball is officially back and set to start a 60-game season on either July 23rd or July 24th, so we've got that to look forward to as well. Until next time, I'm Kevin Householder.